in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix your Windows 10 PC or laptop saying that it's using 100% CPU and memory. So the first thing you need to do is right click on the Windows 10 start menu icon and you then need to click on settings. We now need to click on update and security and you now need to click on the check for updates button and just ensure you do have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. Also, if you do have an optional quality update available, go ahead and download and install that as well. Once you have finished updating Windows, go ahead and restart your computer and see if that fixed the problem. If it didn't, then don't worry because the next thing we want to do is right click on the Windows 10 start menu icon again. You now need to click on settings. And we now need to click on system. And you now need to click on notifications and actions. You now need to toggle this to off and you also need to select these three options here. Once you have done that, go ahead and restart your computer and see if that fixed the problem. If it didn't, then we now want to right click again on the start menu icon and go to settings. You now need to click on privacy and you now need to go ahead and click on background apps. We now want to toggle this to off and once you've toggled all the background apps to off, restart your computer and then see if that fixed the high CPU and memory usage. If it didn't, then it's now worth running an antivirus scan on your computer because it might be a virus that's trying to maybe mine your computer or do something on your computer that's causing your CPU to run really high and also your memory. So go ahead and use whatever antivirus program it is on your computer. In this video, I will show you how to do a scan within Windows Defender. So to do this, all we need to do is open up the start menu. You now need to type in Windows Security. Open up Windows Security. And you now need to click on Virus and Threat Protection. And we now want to do a scan. But we don't want to do a quick scan. We want to do a full scan. So we need to click on Scan Options. And you now need to click on full scan and then press scan now. And also once that's finished, it would be worth doing a Microsoft Defender offline scan. And you will need to restart your computer to do this. Once you have finished doing all the scans and stuff, if it did detect a virus on your computer, then that will hopefully have resolved the problem as it might have been that virus that was causing the high CPU and memory issue. If that still didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing we'll want to do is disable the Time Broker service, as this service is known for causing high CPU usage. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Start menu, and you now need to type in Reg Edit and open up the Registry Editor. Once you're in the Registry Editor, we now need to go to the following location. You need to go to HKey Local Machine. You now need to go to System. And we now need to go to current control set. And you now need to go to services. And we now need to click anywhere on here and then put T. And you now need to scroll down and then find the Time Broker SVC folder. And you now need to double click on start and then change the value to 4. Basically the value 4 is to disable the service and the value 3 is to change it back to manual so it will run. So once you've changed it to 4, press OK, now restart your computer, and once your computer's restarted, see if that helped fix the issue with the high CPU and memory usage. If you are starting to encounter problems though, with this service disabled, then go back to the registry editor and then re-enable the service. Once you have done all that, and if you're still having problems with high CPU and memory usage, then the only other thing you can do is to reset Windows 10. So to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, and you now need to click on update and security, and you then need to go down to recovery, and you then need to click on get started under reset this PC. This really is a last option and basically you can choose to keep your files or remove them. Personally, I would ensure that you have backed everything up and then I'll just do a complete reset, but that's up to your own choice. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy this video and it did help you out. If it did, click the like button below and subscribe. 
for more computer sluggish tutorials.